Well, social media is huge today. Almost everybody has a Facebook or a Twitter account. Question is, how can using these online sources put our personal information in jeopardy? Hacking expert Tim Pearson is here with some safety tips. He's taking time out of your uh, hacker halted conference that's actually going on right now. And you're going to give us some tips I think that I even didn't know. So, okay. so this is good, especially for those of us who use social media. So where, where do we start? Obviously, you're a guy that is using your skills for the better. That's correct. So where do we start? Uh, basically, probably the thing that you need to know about to begin with is when you put something on the internet, you'll never get it back off. There's no retracting it? There's no retracting. It's kind of like a tattoo. And even a tattoo today, you can remove. You cannot remove this. Even though you delete some photograph, you delete this or you delete that, somebody else has copied it, somebody else has replicated it somewhere else, it's there for life. And I've got some clips to show you about okay. some things that uh, uh, I think I'd like to start off with. Uh, Betty White uh, provided a... Uh, Oh, there better? she is. Okay, Betty White provided a kind of a, a cutesy little clip when she was on Saturday Night Live. About how it's not her thing. You know, exactly. I have so many people to thank for being here, but I really have to thank Facebook. <laughs> yeah, right. When I first heard about the campaign to get me to host Saturday Night Live, I didn't know what Facebook was. Oh, my gosh, all right. And now that I do know what it is, I have to say, it sounds like a huge waste of time. Oh my gosh, there she goes. All right, so she's not a fan. Let's get to, um, though, you have some tips to help protect ourselves on this. You're saying, you know, especially for maybe our kids in our family. Especially you know, for our kids. Educate them, don't let them put up stuff. Tell them how permanent these things are once exactly. you put them on Facebook. We don't want to appear something like this What? Oh no. on our page. Oh no. And Where I think there's a lot of teenagers and even college kids with things like that. I have to basis. admit that this happened to me when I was in college. Oh. I just don't have the... It doesn't live on Facebook, exactly, does it, Tim? Exactly, exactly. Okay. <laughs> to a prospective employer, how are you going to explain this? Yeah. How are you going to explain this 10 years from now when it's going to be extremely important for you to get that job that you really need and... They're just not going to look twice at the person. That well, we even recommend when we have interns come in that they take off any pictures of them holding alcohol in bathing suits. I mean, even things like that. You know, when you're going for a job, you don't want things like that posted either. Some interesting things that have happened uh, here recently is uh, Mark Zuckerberg, mm -hmm. who is the uh, uh, the creator of Facebook, his latest makeover of Facebook wants to provide a cradle to grave lifeline for yourself. Okay. Now, while this is kind of interesting, this also provides test strings for uh, the bad guys, basically. For example, uh, who's your childhood sweetheart? That's going to be on there. What's your best friend's name in high school? Well, that's going to be on there. Sites like Ancestry.com is going to provide things like your mother's maiden name, your father's middle name, some things of that nature where you probably used or been asked for those test strings not all and the, passwords. Yeah, not only for passwords, but for the security question to like exactly. change your passwords. Exactly. exactly. So this digital tattoo, uh, there is a study that was done not too long ago that that basically said there's one out of every 10 teenagers has posted a nude or semi-nude photo oh of themselves gosh. on the internet. That could haunt them the, absolutely the rest of their lives. Teenagers don't always censor themselves online and uh, can even bully classmates. I've got a little demonstration that uh, we created right here in the studio. What I've got right here is we took a photo and on that photo, I've provided, if I can find it here, no problem. A lot of glare, huh? Yeah, <laughs> there is. Okay, there it is. All right. Yeah, you know, at the same time as you're, you're pulling this up, I, I want to mention, too, for the people out there, you're going to recommend not to click on those tiny URLs, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Uh, this is just simply a, a photo of your studio that we okay. took just before the segment aired. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on this photo. I'm going to click on Exit Exif Data. And notice it's provided me my GPS coordinates. <gasps> if I click on the map link right here. Is this any photo that's taken with a phone? Any photo that's oh. taken with a GPS enabled phone will provide this data. Oh my gosh. By right so if you take a picture one, of your house or your front door. Exactly. Uh, by providing this information, 
I can look at OpenStreetMap. This is the one that, uh, come on. This is so disturbing. I mean, this is, is. It, it will take people right to your door, huh? Exactly. Wow. Okay, Tim, some great information. Now, your uh, your conference going on, is that open to the public? Yes, it is. Okay, and it's going on through Thursday, right? That's correct. All mm -hmm. right, so if you want more information, I think there's a great brain that you could tap right here. Tim Pearson will be at the Hacker Halted Conference, which is going now through Thursday at the Intercontinental Hotel in Miami. For more information, visit HackerHalted.com. Thanks so much for being here. All right, Roxy, over to you.